So real competition, two words. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, pretty much. I could have said it that, but you gave me 15 minutes. So I... <laughs> <laughs> and it was well spent. God bless you, man. <laughs> Regulators, no mention. I was worried I would run out of time, but the regulator, the message to regulators, get off of the freaking field. Don't try to deliver health care. I don't care how thoughtful you are. If you're that thoughtful, quit the government and start a company. Regulators need to focus on bringing orders of magnitude more players onto the field, not making it so hard to get onto the field that the regulations keep people out. You've got to get more players, and they will smoke the bad guys. So transparency and feedback keeps the seller honest because transparency and feedback exposes the flaws. Over time, I think that's right. And crazy reinvention. I love that ad, here to the crazy ones, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> How about if mouses don't work? You know, like 16 billion mice later, I actually don't think any of these work. <laughs> like, as a, that guy's crazy. <laughs> and then he just publishes. No, he just, didn't, just for inflammation, don't get us in trouble on the mice. All okay. I'm saying is crazy <laughs> ideas end up, just the fact that somebody could express through dint of their soulful energy in that moment, feel it from the earth or from their mom or some pattern or whatever it is, this is the way to do it. And then people are like, hey, I like it that way. That come along with me energy makes us like our products. Where does the revolution come from? It doesn't come from within the medical community. It's got to come from the customers, call them patients. My sense is that all of these types of things need some exogenous factor to get the ball rolling. I do believe that every established player has an exciting and sensational frontier. I don't believe that all, I should say, every established player category, mm -hmm. I don't believe that all the players in that category will do it. Some of them will try to go the other way and keep the lower left part of the, of the quadrants uh, uh, down and away. But the ones that turn up and to the right, there's enormous frontier for them to feel fabulous about their pavilions and their salaries. And so Margaret Thatcher... Maybe pay a tax, who knows? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher recently died, um, and one of her great, great accomplishments was the unlocking, if you will, of Britain from sort of an ossified, state-controlled environment to unleashing the power of capitalism to remake Britain. Could that actually happen in America with leadership, or is that going to happen in America from some other source? Well, we're definitely going to have to get that female president at some point, and then all <laughs> kinds of good things are going to happen. I'm proposing Mandy Dean, but I'll take anyone. Uh, yeah, I, I think the change comes from the outside, but certainly allowing it, pulling the stoppers off. All of them were well-meant stoppers. We put them in place to prevent the, you know, sometimes we even name laws after the person who was hurt by the thing that we're now, oh, it's the Maggie's law. It's going to keep us from driving at night or whatever it is. That, that all was well-meant, right? I mean, all of us are doing these new stoppers on healthcare because freaking 40 million people can't get it, right? So I think that you need to acknowledge the stoppers and, and, and soften them. But we also, it, it is we, right? Kiss me Kate, not Jay, uh, who are the makers. We need to go and start entering and start chiseling away at the edges. Otherwise, I don't think any Maggie Thatcher in the world could fix it. So America, 50 states, often a question of 50 laboratories. Could a single state with a governor lead this idea at a state level, or would they have to have federal cooperation in the US to make it work? I love it. That's like such an intelligentsia. Is it the state government or the federal government? Well, Jay, maybe it's not the government, right? Well, I mean, they got to get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about getting out right, of the way. Right, shut up, sit down. I don't care if you shut up and sit down at the federal level or the state level or the community just shuts up and sits down. But my sense is that you need, at healthcare's dollar amount, you need multi-state scale. You need super regional scale. The idea of a single state or single sub-state sub tertiary medical center is, 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 is an obsolete idea. And that's why you see medical centers starting IPAs or surge centers or little clinics to try to hold themselves tottering on this tiny population. Could I, let me ask it another way. Yeah. Could a group of states <laughs> with a good population yeah. get together and say, yeah, you sure. know what? It's yeah. a free trade zone right. for innovation sure. in health and right. medicine. Could it happen or would the federal government step in and say, no way, you're not doing a free trade zone in health and medicine right. for your three state big market. Well, right now, if, if you watch what's going to happen with the connectors or the communicators or whatever they're called, these health plan things, there aren't going to be enough players and to be the same guys, hi, I'm united, I'm here, I'm from Ohio. I'm united, I'm here from Illinois. I'm united and I'm here from, you know, what's going to happen is they're going to need to, I think, super regionalize, create some blue sky so that you can start a health plan in one place and sell to patients in a lot of places. That's what, that's what we need, I think. So maybe it's a multi-state blue sky airway. Any countries in the world, we've got 81 countries watching, 
that are doing it right, or at least better than we are, from an entrepreneurial, get out of the way, release innovation, or are we the best of a really sick lot? Looking, <laughs> looking at like, hey, here we all are sitting in this big tub of goo. It's like, wow, that goo's a lot nicer than our goo. It's all goo, right? I mean, what's exciting about, and it's all wonderful. Like, what we have is extraordinary. It's the idea that there's this fanciful, crazy new invention that we recruit people in an evangelical way to go get. That, that changes the way we view any product. So it doesn't matter who's doing it well. It matters that we say, come along with me and let's try it, and only the people who want it, try it. And then they go, hey, those crazy ones aren't so crazy. So to me, this whole socio, social, Viberian look at other people and then copy it in great socialized groups doesn't express humanity. It's, it's some sort of, the committee has decided what's better for you, and even if it is, and it usually is, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> you know. And other than that, I got nothing to say. <laughs> Jonathan, you lack passion, you lack energy, you lack vision, but I think you've got a good idea. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Jay. Okay.